What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and not only a brand new video but a look into week three in CWL invite. Forge from Steel getting a massive victory over none other than Bada Bing Clan. Uh, as you guys see it right there, uh, a seven star victory but despite that seven star victory, uh, it was a very, very close war. Uh, we didn't really know how exactly it was going to pan out till about the last four or five hours where they were struggling with quite a few of their 10v10s uh, or 10v10 attempts. And they suffered a few dip fails kind of towards the end of the war, which ultimately, ultimately decided it. And we'll go ahead and look at both sides of the map, kind of break everything down. And I have some awesome attacks to show you guys. Two of our Town Hall 10s, uh, both six pack. Uh, so two of the guys uh, managed to get all four of our 10v10 triples this war. Uh, but real quick before we do that, uh, I do want to give a big shout out to everybody in Bada Bing Clan. Echo through me, BRG325. Uh, slob on my gob. I do know a few of the guys over there. So big shout out to um, you know all you guys. Hell of a war. Very, very fun war. And what a way uh, to start off week three. Or, or what, what a way to end off week three, not only for us, but, you know, getting a victory as well. Uh, so real quick, go ahead and look at the map. First thing you're going to see is Captain Crunch's base. They were not able to get a single star on his base. I'll go ahead and show you guys that base real quick so you can copy it. <laughs> you wish. Okay, so right here, uh, defenses. Right there, six attempts, guys. Uh, six attempts and six defenses. Uh, not, again, not even getting a single star. So that alone would have made a big difference in the star total uh, if they were able to double him. They were not. Uh, and they did have two 10v10s. One of them was actually a fresh hit as well uh, on our lowest Town Hall 10. Um, and again, they, they did struggle with a few of the diffles. As you guys see, they did leave... There's quite a few Town Hall 10s peppered through here, uh, you know, that that were left up, that were never cleared. Uh, nines were decent on both sides. N I mean, not the best. Um, definitely not the worst either. Uh, I think both of us were pretty much hitting about the same uh, 9v9. Uh, we, we each had to have two dips uh, to actually ensure that we cleared all the nines and get those stars. Uh, a, bi a big difference in this war, guys, that we're starting to adjust now, at least in FFS, is getting the doubles on the 11s. That was absolutely huge. Um, we were able to get all five of their 11s doubled with our Town Hall 10s. And big shout out right here to Jacob, uh, getting 69%. We're going to take a look at that towards the end. And right here, getting a 59%. So Jacob absolutely wrecked it. Uh, we got Captain Oats. We have uh, Monster Sauce, a.k.a. Aino, and my boy uh, PSC also getting the double on their number one. Uh, shout out to him. And we did have qu uh, quite a few 10v10s that I will get into. I will show you guys uh, uh, one Town Hall 9 raid. And, okay, so that was Fabi. That was Fabi taking out number 14, almost at the top of the map right there. Uh, right here, no, that's a dip. Okay, that was the other 10v10 on number 18. And then on these bottom bases, uh, number 21 and number 22. Uh, so Sasa and uh, Fabi both six-pack this war, guys. Uh, 10v10 six-pack. Uh, so shout out to them. And, uh, of course, we cleared all of their nines. Uh, two of them we did have to dip, though. So real quick, uh, we're going to check out this attack right here. From none other than Divine Catalyst, aka Ked. Big shout out to him. I don't know uh, if he's trolling us or, or, if it, or if it's real, what's going on. Uh, but supposedly he said that he is retiring uh, after this war. He's, he's hanging up all 19 of his accounts and he's going to be retiring. I really hope that's not the case. I have known uh, Ked for a couple years now uh, when I spent a little bit of time in CB way back in the day. And, you know, of course, with. Um, uh, Clintonville being being part of the Forge by the Bay Alliance, he was also playing um, on his Town Hall Nine over here in Forge from Steel. And if 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 it is true, if he's not trolling, and it is true that he is uh, hanging up all of his accounts and and retiring. I wish him nothing but the best of luck. And what a way to end it with a beautiful. I mean, if you guys saw this, this was a sub two minute raid uh, by Ked here, doing it with a classic. I mean, a, cl a classic never dies, doing it with a stoned hobo. 
uh, he does have a couple loons that he's bringing on this hit. And again, what a beautiful attack. Uh, it still has quite a few hogs ending on uh, the Tesla farm. This was a fresh hit. Uh, so again, a big shout out to him and best of luck. Again, if it's true, best of luck. If not, of course, he's always has a home here, not only over in CB, but also here in uh, Forge from Steel. So a big shout out to Ked. You know, uh, we love him to death. He was always fun to talk to, uh, to hop on voice. Very, very active member, very loyal member. And, you know, it was always willing to help, you know, it was always in the chats, uh, planning, you know, on voice, in the sketches, all that good stuff. So big shout out to him. I definitely want to show one of his attacks. If it's true, one of this, what you guys witnessed could have been one of the last uh, Town Hall 9 attacks that, he, that he's ever going to do. So uh, big shout out to him going out with the bang, getting a beautiful uh, three star. Again, a classic never dies, just like Ked. Uh, with a stoned hobo, definitely, definitely wanted to get that out to you guys. So that was our, our Town Hall 9 raid that I wanted to show you guys. Here we're going to show you some beautiful 10v10s. Some of these attacks we don't even have names for yet. Uh, you'll understand what I'm saying when we get to it. It was definitely not meta whatsoever. Uh, so we have Sasa um, coming, over from, uh, coming over from Six Schlitzes. For those of you that don't know, Six Schlitzes, I believe, kind of uh, retired. I mean, they're not even in the in the league anymore. So there's quite a few guys uh, still eager to war. So they kind of dispersed amongst the war community. We were able to pick up a couple of them. Uh, this is one of them, Sasa, on this account, Eon Bull or Eon Bule. Uh, one of um, uh, this is his Town Hall 10 account, and just gonna be doing a Sui Hero Lalo. All kinds of look. He's got 30 loons, uh, two hounds in the camps. I believe he has one hound in the CC. Uh, queen gets two air defenses. Oh no, Queen gets one air defense and an inferno tower. Here comes the hound loon portion. All of his spells he's going to be using on the Lalo. Uh, going to go ahead and drop a rage and a skelly right over the uh, enemy queen to ensure that she gets taken out. Now she's trying to snipe uh, all those loons there. And look at all those loons that he has up. Still has two heal and two haste to deploy. Uh, Enemy Queen finally goes down to that skelly spell. Nice heal right before those loons. Getting those loons up to full health. Right before they reach um, not only the splash from the wizard towers. But quite a few uh, point defenses as well. Another heal right on uh, that tesla farm there's a pair of teslas right there and also getting pushed back from the sweeper uh, that's a good so uh after that wizard tower goes down uh there's pretty much no more threats left in this base uh all we have is that air sweeper and just that cannon uh so very very nicely done uh to sasa on this one taken out this was their number 22 which was their lowest town hall 10 on the map uh, very, very well executed. There's that shrink wrap. Look at those little baby minions. Look at those little baby minions. Uh, that shrink wrap did cause quite a few problems, uh, but we were definitely able uh, to overcome it. I heard a lot of funny stories about uh, different situations with that, uh, that stupid um, shrink trap. Okay, at any rate, moving on up here. Look at this, guys. Look at this treat right here. We got Fobby... With the capital letters and FFS taking on Fabi with the lowercase letters in Bada Bing Clan. What are the odds of this? Is Fabi attacking himself? I really hope not. No, but that is definitely not the case. Uh, but we got Fabi hitting Fabi, uh, doing it with a Sui Hero Lalo. A uh, very, very popular uh, attack, especially if you can safely grab that Inferno Tower, as well as other uh, air targeting defenses, which he is going to be able to do. You'll see he, he got that wall opened up right at 12 o'clock. Once that cannon goes down, no question where that queen is going to be headed, going to be beating on that gold storage. So that's going to go down. And right there, uh, before he even has to pop his ability, is able to get that Inferno Tower taken out. Uh, pops the ability, goes ahead and wipes out the DE storage before he's able to start the Lalo portion. Uh, so right here, uh, he does see that Tesla on the outside. This is a cleanup hit. 
Uh, so we did know where some of these Teslas were. Here comes the next group, Hound over here. Uh, and you see that other Tesla underneath the town hall. Rage in the core with the Skelly spell uh, to take out the Queen. Uh, we have a huge clump of loons wiped out that air sweeper that was pushing them back. And they're already taking out these air defenses. There's three left. But look at all the loons he has, guys. Uh, raging down there at six. Uh, hasting over here at three and four o'clock. Guys, there's nothing left of the base. This base got completely wrecked. Look at all these loons. He's got one, two, three, five, seven, and he's got about 37 loons and two haste spells in uh, in the bag. Hasn't even dropped the haste spells. Where are they going to go? Still has a goblin to help with cleanup, and he still has two loons to deploy, guys. So you want to talk about base identification and just completely smashing uh, Fobby. Uh, no pun intended. We got Fobby smashing Fobby. Here comes a little uh, mini loom parade. Double drops the uh, two finger drops those two haste right there. Uh, just to make sure that he has enough time uh, to clean up those trash buildings. Very, very nicely done. Base identification and execution. Uh, wow, what an amazing attack uh, that was. So now we're going to take a look at the other two 10v10s that each of these gentlemen had. Uh, we'll move on up here. Number 18. Here we have Sasa uh, doing his second 10v10. And going to be doing it with ground. Uh, doing it with bitch. Uh, but he is going to be spicing it up a little bit. Uh, doing it with a queen walk. So a queen walk bitch. Uh, so he's going to be getting a little fancy here. Uh, we do have a wizard down there at about 5 o'clock uh, just helping funnel the queen. He does want the queen to kind of head up here to start taking out all this because you can get a lot of value uh, from a queen walk getting rid of not only splash uh, but also a lot of point defenses. Okay, we got golems down. Uh, we have a few witches and a few bowlers over there at 9 o'clock. They're going to be working their way up towards the town hall jump, leading all his troops into that first inferno tower. Here comes the enemy CC. Uh, it is a hound loon. Uh, but he doesn't have to worry about that hound too much uh, since he has his queen uh, over on the outside there just doing what she does. Uh, again, just taking out all those defenses. Uh, jump leading everything into the core where he goes and drops a rage and a heal. Uh, so we have both Inferno Towers down at this time. His flank over on the left looking very strong and very healthy. Uh, Skelly's doing a good job tanking all those point defenses. And you'll see his queen is still up, uh, taking some damage right here. She's going to knock out that Tesla and even grab uh, that Archer Tower. So there's only two cannons left. Uh, again, he does still have that flank. He's got four witches and a few bowlers uh, getting nice rock skips, uh, taking out these defenses. Uh, queen has now locked onto the Hound. She will be able to take that out no problem as there were no other defenses targeting her. Uh, so that was a big, big help right there. And pretty much just one point defense. Uh, just got a few splash from the Wizard Tower Mortar and the Bomb Tower. But no doubt is this going to be a three-star. Very, very nicely done. Uh, wrapping it up, guys, with the six-pack. Doing it with style. Did one air attack. Did one ground attack. Uh, again, welcome to the clan, uh, Sasa. Coming over from six Schlitzes. Uh, so big, big pick me up uh, right there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and check out Fabi. This is the one right here. We're calling this the, the Fabulous right here. This is the Fabulous attack. Wait till you get, just take a look at that troop bar, guys. When I first saw this, I didn't know what was happening. I thought he maybe made a mistake. Uh, he's got two golems, 11 bowlers, nine wall breakers. He's got some whizzies. And 12 balloons he's bringing on to this attack. And I looked at this, I was like, am I clicking on the right base when I was watching this replay? Wait till you guys see this one right here. Calling this one, you guys have already seen the Fobby. The Town Hall 9 attack, the Fobby. This is the Town Hall 10 attack, calling it the Fobulous. Uh, going to be starting his queen over here. Going to sui the queen, uh, breaks her in. Um, right into this compartment right here that leads to the Inferno Tower. Being nice and patient. Does have a baby drag taking out that mortar. Also got rid of that trash to make sure that queen goes into the right compartment. Okay, she's going to pop ability. 
or he's going to pop ability on the queen and take out that inferno tower and also gets the uh, DE storage. Baby drag over there at 9 o'clock just trimming all that trash, making sure that these bowlers go where he wants them, which is right into the core of this base, guys. Okay, golems down. Uh, does have the bowlers right behind them. Here comes the wall breakers to go ahead and open them up. And here's the quad quake, guys, opening up this entire core. Look at that quad quake. Wait till you guys see this. Uh, King and them are just beating through that wall. He did have a wall breaker fail. Uh, but they just beat through that wall, no problem. Raging everything up. Uh, also has the heal spell. Enemy queen is down. Here comes the loons uh, over here at about 10 o'clock, hasting them in to that inferno tower. They grab it. The, these rock skips under rage uh, wipe out all of the air defenses that were on the back end one coming in there's three on the back end wipes them out just dropping loons down to target uh the wizard tower and the point defense coming from that archer tower guys all defenses are down i don't even know what that was but we do now we just named it calling it the fabulous uh, that was absolutely out of control let me know guys if you made it this far into the video and you're hearing me talking right now let me know what you guys think of that attack down in the comment section below. Could not believe it. Uh, not, I mean, this guy's beyond meta. He doesn't do meta attacks. He attacks a base and brings the troops based on a layout. Amazing uh, hit. Uh, wrap it up. As you guys saw, that was a uh, six pack right there. Uh, so big shout out to Fabi on that one. Um, it never ceases uh, to amaze me. Okay, now we're going to check out one 10v11 attack. Didn't even really used to show these all that much, but we all know the 10v11 woes that have been going on. That is not the case for Jacob, though, guys. He got an epic four-pack, a 69%, great percentage, and a 59% uh, taking out their number two, which is their fearless leader, BRG325. Uh, Going to be doing this with a bowler smash. Just grab a nice um, uh, percent over there on the upper left-hand side of the base. Here comes, so that was all percent right there. Now he's going to be entering his main kill squad down here at the bottom right uh, between uh, about 4 and 5 o'clock entering in. He's got golems and bowlers right into the core of this base, followed up with a rage and a heal, already at 46%. And he has a whole group of bowlers right here. Uh, and you see him, they're also on the side getting all kinds of defense or all kinds of percentage uh, on the flanks here. He did know that there was a hound in the CC, went ahead and had his queen go on the outside uh, to pick up that percent. He's at 65% as the town hall went down. Queen is still up, taking out that warden right there. Can she get another building? Got the gold mine as well. And the other gold mine just fell uh, one, about a couple shots shy of that DE barracks of getting a 70%. I like 69% a lot better. Big shout out to Jacob. Uh, he was rocking at 10v10, uh, stepped up, started helping out our 10v11 guys, and has been absolutely rocking it. Again, he got a, a four pack this war, uh, taking out number two and number five. But that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, some awesome attacks came from this war. Big shout out to everybody in the Bada Bing clan, whether I know you or don't. Shout out to you. An amazing war. A seven star victory uh, for Forge from Steel. Next up in week four, uh, next weekend or this coming weekend, Emphatic, uh, emphatic Fury, Emphatic Elite. Uh, we're going to be taking on Emphatic Elite. So wish us luck in that war. This was the war recap for week three. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Actually, big shout out to everybody in Forge from Steel as well. This was just an incredible war. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video. Thank <music> you.